Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to manage Q&A in Microsoft Teams. So here I am in a live webinar. Currently I have Alan that has joined the webinar. Thank you, Alan. And in here I can see the Q&A area that I can navigate to. So if I selected that and move into Q&A, you can see the area on the right here changes to the Q&A section. In the Q&A, I can post a question here to start a discussion. I can manage the settings as the organizer of this meeting. So if I selected settings, here I can see the settings I'm able to manipulate and change to make sure I manage the Q&A uh, the way I like. So in here we have questions. When you enable this, this will enable participants. For example, Alan wants to ask a question. If we enable this, Alan will be able to post questions in here. Replies, if we enable that, that'll allow participants to reply. Upvote will allow participants to upvote a question. For example, three or four people have the same question. Instead of all three of them posting the same question, one of them can post the question and the other two can upvote that question. The next one is an important one, which is the anonymous posting. Anonymous posting generally is really useful during town halls where you have a lot of people and the person posting the question doesn't necessarily want to be identified uh, as the person posting that question. So that you enable this and that'll allow users to post anonymous questions. And then the next one is organizer permissions here moderate question. So the reason this is grayed out is because I've enabled this for this meeting when I organized it, which will then moderate questions, make sure that every question that get asked goes through the organizer. I will review the question and then publish it if it is appropriate to be published to the rest of the attendees. Once this is enabled, you cannot disable it. So this is why you can see this area grayed out like that. So if I close this and go to Alan in here, this is Alan logged in. Now, me as Alan, I can go in the Q&A area and post a question. So let's ask a question here. What time will the reset of this happen? And then I can post anonymously. So if I take this, I'm going to be anonymous so that everybody won't know who posted that question. So let's go ahead and ask. And once that question is published, I will be able to see my question here. So your question will be published after it's approved by an event organizer. So this means is I will need to approve this as the event organizer. This time I'm back to Alex, which is the event organizer here. I'm going to go to the in review and see that that question was posted anonymously. So I don't know that Alan posted this question, but I know there was an anonymous question asked. So what time will the reset? of this happen, and I can either publish or dismiss this question. If I publish, that is going to be available to everybody. If I dismiss, then this is going to be added to the dismissed list. So let's go ahead and publish. And now you can see there are no questions to review because nobody else asked any other questions. And then I'll go to the published tab. In the published tab here, now I can see that the question has been asked. I can upvote this question. I can react to the question and I can add a comment to that question. So this is how we can manage Q&A in Microsoft Teams. We are able to moderate Q&A, post anonymously, manage our posts, add comments, and be able to collaborate using Q&A. Thank you everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and like to see more videos.